Dr. Seaborg, will atomic power replace gas, oil, and other sources of power by the year 2000, or will we still be dependent on conventional means of power? I think uh, what we will see between now and the year 2000 is a growing use of all sources of energy, but a shifting to nuclear power for certain uses. For example, in the area of generating electricity, we are forecasting a shift from coal to nuclear power over the next few decades, even though we can expect the amount of coal used to grow for quite some time. This is due, of course, to our overall growing demand for electricity. But by the year 2000, nearly all new electric generating plants that are built will probably be nuclear. Actually, coal will be very important at that time as a source of hydrocarbons for the chemical industry. In other areas, it's a little more difficult to foresee the shift of resources. For example, I think oil will be the major source of energy for our transport, uh, transportation industry for some time, even though we may see a shift to an electric-powered car for in-town travel. And there is always some speculation on the development of nuclear-powered aircraft, but because of safety and weight factors, this is not likely to happen for some time. I do think, however, that we will see the nuclear-powered ship come into its own before too long. This is only a matter of improvements in an existing technology to make nuclear ships economical. We will also have in use the various nuclear-powered satellites and perhaps a number of other amazing nuclear innovations, which we conservative scientists are probably too unimaginative to foresee today. Thank you very much, Dr. Seaborg. In the year 2000, our world should be a better place in which to live, thanks in part to atomic energy. Our thanks also to Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg, Chairman of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. This brings our series to a close. We hope that you have benefited from it. We have enjoyed bringing these broadcasts to you, and we thank you again for listening. The United States Atomic Energy Commission and this station have brought you in touch with modern-day uses of atomic energy. We have talked about the atom and its application to our lives. This series was produced and hosted by Ed Ronnie of the information staff at the AEC's Argonne National Laboratory.